Chaotic Angle here, bringing it back to you with a Defiance video featuring how to mod your weapons. Now, if you don't know what mods are or even what they do, I will show you here in just a second. Two weapons that we're going to be working with is the FRC Heavy Assault Carbine. Basically, they'll have these little mod polarity slots. Basically, it will have a picture in it, and if it doesn't have a picture in it, you have to add a picture. What these pictures actually allow you to do is add mods onto the weapons, and then basically what mods do is that they actually increase your weapon stats, such as crit, damage, accuracy, recoil reduction, etc, etc, and the other weapon that we're going to be working with here is the FRC Scattergun. You, as you can see, this has three pictures already, so it only needs one more item here as well. But um, before I get into the whole modding aspect, let me just show you, basically I have two, two of them equipped, and I will show you both the regular base damage now, of what they do, and how they function without any mods, and then I will show you guys how to add the mod slots, and then basically how to um, mod the weapon itself. So basically this is the FRC assault rifle. Not too bad, it's got the purple element on it, meaning that it actually um, does quite a bit of damage when it actually procs, so it's actually not too too bad. It's going through shields pretty nicely. It's doing about 44 with shields up currently. There's another player here. There's actually a few players here. So basically I'm just going to show you guys what the damage of the weapon does. You can see here it does about oh, 44, yeah around 44 per shot. On crit I believe it does well if I get through this guy's stupid ass shield. On crit it does 419 which is weird. I don't know. The crit numbers are really weird in this game because I've you can actually crit lower than the actual overall damage. It's really weird. Okay 922 is the actual crit 465 but the original damage for body is 484, and I got 915 or so for a crit shot. Now let's look at the FRC scatter gun. Let's see what that does. If I can actually get somewhere. And of course, I accidentally got the elements, the uh, turbo boost. So I'm gonna have to wait till that wears down so I can show you guys what this does. And there we go. It finally wore off. Let's see if I can show you guys what this thing is all about. Okay, well, if they stop dying in two seconds. Alright, so it's 173 per shot. Um, 183 on that. 173 with shields. About 231 crit-wise. So 231 crit, 183 um, on bodies, and I believe this one is 44 on bodies and 915 on crit. So, not too bad uh, for weapons that aren't modded yet. The FRC Assault Rifle is a purple rifle, and the reason that I'm going to show off two rifles and not just, uh, two weapons and not just one is because of the fact that, um, the, uh, the purple assault rifle, the FRC Purple Assault Rifle, which is this one, actually has synergy. So, basically, I'll talk about that in a minute once I clear out this arc ball. I will show you guys how the modding works and how it works as well with synergy. But just so you get a general idea of how much damage these weapons do, I'm just going to show them off a little bit more. And I will show you basically how well they work. They are pretty good. Um, I believe the FRC Scattergun is a blue. And this one is a purple. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Procket 922 on that crate with the assault rifle. Not too bad at all, and it's actually very, very nice. But that is pretty much, pretty much all there is to these two guns. Basically, a decent amount of damage. Um, this one does have a fire element on it as well. I forgot to mention that, and the other one has the purple element as well. I think I mentioned that. But anyway, um, let's jump into modding here, so I can show you guys what the. Uh, what the mods actually do for this weapon and basically how well it will improve it as well as uh, talking about how synergy works and whatnot. So, yep. I will jump cut the video and I will show you guys what... Alright, so now we are at Iron Demon Ranch which is located right here on the map as you can see. 
and basically the reason I'm going to Iron Demon Ranch is because of the fact that every different ranch will have a mod store. Now each mod store will be consistent of mods that will be for a specific weapon. For, so for instance this mod store at Iron Demon Ranch has assault rifles, SMGs, and LMGs. Basically what that will allow me to do is mod this weapon here. Now basically in order to mod this weapon I have to go well, not mod. I can mod this weapon now, but I will only get two slots out of it. To add the other two slots, you have to go to Salvage Matrix, go to, whoops, uh, select an item to modify, then click on the FRC. But as you see, once you have the weapon equipped, you can only attach mods to this weapon. So, for instance, if I had any stocks or sites, I can put them on and then start transaction, um, start the action. In order to add the other two mod slots, the same thing for the uh, FRC. I have to unequip the weapon. Now. In order to do this, just re-equip another weapon, etc. Go into salvage, go into back into the gun that you want to modify. Then you can see the FRC here. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna hit add mod slots. This is gonna cost what they call scrap. Now basically, you get scrap by running arc falls, um, selling, um, running arc falls, destroying things such as weapons or so-called. You can turn that into scrap. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, nothing to actually get in scrap. You pretty much just pick it up. You can even get it from the daily, which I'll show you in two seconds. I'm going to start action here, and then I'm also going to do the other weapon, which is the FRC scatter gun, which is the blue. And now I'm also going to add mod slots, because that needs one slot as well. As you can see, d depending on how high the weapon is, if it's a purple or something like that, it will actually cost more scrap. And um, basically, it doesn't cost money to do this, and it will always be the same time, 10 minutes. So basically, it will take 10 minutes to add... Um, one polarity slot to that weapon and then once it's added you can um, you can use the weapon again because once it's once it's being worked on you cannot use the weapon so you have to unequip it and make sure you ha have like a second loadout a second set of weapons you can use until those are done or you can just wait it out and wait for them to be done so basically um, like I was saying about the scrap, you can pick it up from the daily. If you go, if you hit escape, defense store, or if you're playing on, I don't know what it is on console, but um, you can see here daily arc hunter reward. Double click on that, you'll get some scrap for that. If you haven't got uh, the reward already today, if you haven't claimed it, but you will get scrap from that. You can also use um, scrap for different things like these lock boxes and etc etc I'll go into detail about scrap and whatnot later on in another video but right now basically I'm just gonna wait on to these once they are done and once they're done we will um, get right into the whole bonding aspect of things okay now that 20 minutes have passed to mod these damn things as you can see, there are now four pictures here, and the two dashes now have went away, meaning that I can put four mods into this weapon currently, as well as the FRC scatter gun. And basically, I can upgrade its stats, etc. So we're going to equip these weapons. You don't have to have them equipped, it just makes it easier for me, because I know where they are, etc. So I'm just going to equip those two weapons. I'm both equipped now, and I'm going to head over here to the mod store. Now basically, Actually, before I get into this, let's talk about a little bit about synergy with the weapon. As you can see, there are there is a thing called synergy assassin, meaning that basically any any type of mod that you pick up that's called assassin will actually not only give you the stat of that mod, but it will also give you the bonus stat as well. For instance, if you were to pick up the lock and load. I believe the mag size or something. The mag size mod called Assassin, not only you would get the benefit from that mod, for instance, increased magazine size, etc., you would also get the 5% damage on next shot after critical kill, expires after 10 seconds, yada yada yada. Now, basically, it's actually pretty good because of the fact that you actually get double the stats. So, for instance, not only you'll get the Assassin, you'll get that, and once you get it mastered, of course, you'll get the mastered perk as well. Um, not to mention you're also getting the perks for it just being a purple weapon, for instance, the 25% of the style weapon clip reloaded on a kill. So it is actually not that bad. You actually get a lot more benefits from synergy weapons. Now, of course, there are two different types of synergy weapons. There's synergy weapons that are completely filled out, and there's synergy weapons that look like this. Now, basically, a synergy weapon that only has, um, for instance, one stat to it, 
will actually be easier to proc, for instance, if I had another synergy weapon with the same synergy of survivalist. I put it in my primary and basically I put this in my secondary and that this synergy will actually be procced without actually having any uh, synergy mods per se as long as both the weapons have the same synergy so if I had uh, another rifle for instance or something that let's say instead of this was assassin this was survivalist and if I had this weapon equipped along with this weapon I would automatically get the stat with even without even having any mods attached to it which is pretty nice but um unfortunately I can't show you guys how that works since I don't have another weapon with the same synergy but I can show you what it looks like once um, the Synergy weapon is completely modded out. So as you can see here, I'm still at Iron Demon Ranch. I'm going to click on the mod store. This mod store is for assault rifles, SMGs, and L M LMGs. Jeez, can't talk. Um, and basically, if I keep scrolling down here, you'll start to see Synergy, which will say Brutal, um, Quartermaster, etc., etc. You're going to look for the Synergy that says Assassin. But before I do that, let me just make, yeah. You're going to look for the synergy that says Assassin if I keep scrolling down here. Now, unfortunately, the only problem with this is that it is very cost like, very, very expensive. So you have to be sure that you have, like, a lot of money to do this. Right now, I have 65000 I will show you guys after I'm done with this that it will drop dramatically in money. Because these things are very, very expensive. So you just have to make sure that um, you're doing this correctly. Um, so basically, as you can see, there is the Synergy Assassin mod here, which gives me, um, which basically, since this is the second polarity slot, it will give me the plus 4% crit multiplier, and then it will give me the falloff damage, which is plus 5. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's only one Assassin mod, I believe. Sometimes, I think other mod polarity slots will have more, and it will have a different stat at the bottom, which you can see here. Basically, what that stat will do is it will just, um... It will give you what that uh, what that stat overall says. Yeah, see, you can see here, I get aim damage and hip damage, and this is also an assassin mod. So, basically what that will do is, um, depending on which mod player you pick that has um, the assassin thing, you'll, oh, the assassin, the assassin synergy will always be the same, but that right here at the bottom will always be different. See, this is a crit multiplier. So I'm going to pick up this one because I want the extra crit damage. So I'm going to pick up that one. That's the second polarity slot I just bought. So let's pay attention to the polarity slots that we're getting. Okay, so now we're moving down from the second one to the third one. So now we're going to look for the assassin. This is burst fire. I really don't need burst because it's not really important. So we're going to keep looking down for another assassin mod. And then basically we're hopefully going to be able to add that once we're done with it. Um, the reload speed, 0.90. That looks pretty decent, but let's keep checking out to make sure there's nothing else I want in case, you know, there's something that is better than that one. The mag size, I can actually increase the overall mag size. That might be something I might uh, worth getting. Let's just check. There are also mods which will actually add an element onto that weapon. For instance, as you can see, the damage type here is fire. So this will uh, replace my purple effect and add fire onto it. Uh, and I believe you can also add acid as well. So that is something you want to mess around with if you like. Or, <coughs> excuse me, or you do not have to. But um, if the weapon does not have an element on it, it might be something you want to uh, look into. But as you can see here, um, if I'm just going to go back up here. Uh, to the one where I saw the increased mag size. We're going to pick up that. Okay, so we've done the second slot. We've done the third slot. Now we're going to keep scrolling down to the fourth slot, which is past this. Usually the ones with the elements, by the way, are usually the ones that are blue. And there's only, I think, the only one, the only polarity that actually has the element, I believe, is the mag size. Is the mag. So you, you can trade out... Um, Say if you don't want ammo capacity or whatever else they offer, you can get an element for it. So it's not bad, especially if the uh, weapon that you're currently wielding does not have an element. It might be something wor uh, lo worth looking into. Um, let's see what this has. This is aim accuracy. That's not too bad, but let's keep looking through. This is on the fourth one. I don't know why it goes from two to three to four to one. I don't know why it does that. I believe that's how it goes, but it's really, really dumb. But anyway. Let's just make sure that uh, 
or picking up the right mods here. Now remember, you always want to pick up the one that has the same synergy as yours. Movement accuracy, accuracy, that's not bad either. But let's keep looking for one that actually might benefit this gun a little bit better. Aim accuracy. Okay, so this is the one. So usually there's about three, three different mods of synergy that you can choose from. Of the same synergy you can choose from, I should say. So it's three different assassin mods. Um, I think I preferably like the movement accuracy and the overall accuracy. So I think we're going to pick that one up. Okay, so now we've done two, we've done three, and we've done four in the polarity slots. Now we just got to do the last one, which is one. Like I said, I have no idea why they put it in this order. It's really weird and screws me up a lot, but... um. Because I'm not. If you're not paying attention, you can easily, easily forget. And once the mods are attached, you can't actually see what the name of that mod is for this energy. So it's really, really dumb, and it's really annoying. Oh, so this is Bloom and Recoil. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's keep looking though, just in case. Like I said, the reason I keep checking everything out is just to make sure I get this right. Because if I get this wrong, not only am I gonna lose money. Like, see, if I went melee damage there, I don't need melee damage. That's the thing. So not only will I lose money, but I'll also have to replace the mod as well because it's not really going to benefit me much. I mean, you can leave it. You'll still get the synergy stat of it, but um, you, you can get more from it is all I'm saying. So, Alright, we're going to keep scrolling up here just to make sure that there's no other assassin mods currently of the sorts. Yeah, so it looks like the one polarity slot only has two assassin mods in it, unfortunately. So we're going to have to keep... We're going to have to go with the bloom and recoil just because... The other one is melee damage, which we don't need. Anyway, okay, so now that we cleared that out, I've lost 24,000. Jesus Christ. Anyway, now that we've cleared that out, we're going to go into Salvage Matrix. We're going to click on an item to modify. We're going to click our currently equipped weapon. You don't have to unequip the weapon for this. You're going to attach mods. You're going to click on uh, the recoil reduction, the barrel. Uh, you want to make sure you click on everything before you um, start transaction, as you can see here. That is all there. I don't think this lights up until you actually start the transaction. So let's do that. Yep. As you can see here, I have now, I've bought every mod with the same synergy as Assassin. Because that's what this uh, weapon allowed me to do. And from there, I not only got the synergy Assassin stats, but as well as the mod stats as well. And on top of that, once this weapon gets mastered, you also get the mastered stat. And on top of that, I get the purple. Since the weapon's a purple, I get the 25% of stat weapon clip reload on a kill. And I still get the 1.25 crit multiplier and the 1.0 fire rate as well. And like I said, once the weapon gets mastered, I even get another stat from that. So I just made this weapon kind of strong if you look at the crit ratio. I will show you guys what this weapon can do in a little bit. But now, we are going to mod a weapon without synergy so i'm going to cut the video jump into um an area where they have the mods for the shotgun and i will show i will show you guys what you can how you can english i will show you guys how you can mod this weapon um without spending too much and basically how to mod a weapon without synergy so i'm going to jump the clip and all right so now i have ported to the famous ranch called bug and chug and uh, another thing I forgot to mention, if you don't have these um, ranches, uh, you will get them as you play through the storyline. And this is where the ranch is located, if you guys do not know. But once again, the ranch is called Bug and Chug. If you walk over here, there is the mod store, and this is for shotguns. Now, basically, the way you want to mod a shotgun that doesn't have synergy is you're going to be looking for these mods. Basically, you're going to be looking for these type of mods, the ones that just have um, the stats at the bottom. Because since the weapon doesn't have synergy, you're not going to get the bonus from this unless it does have synergy. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep looking through the weapon here and see what we can find. This is the second polarity slot. An easy way to do this, it's a little bit easier than doing synergy because um, basically if you're looking through um, the mods and you're looking for uh, how to mod a weapon basically that doesn't have synergy basically what you can do is um, as you can see there's a power choke one here and there's power choke two you're just gonna keep scrolling till you find the white again the the white mod here and then you're gonna go underneath it and it will be second strongest and that one will always not have synergy but the one underneath that one will 
So basically, you can see it's fall off damage. I don't know why it's not letting me scroll, but anyway. That's fall off damage. If I go here, uh, I can add an element to it if I want to, but that doesn't have any stats besides the element. Um, this is still the third one. I can do reload. Um, let's keep going. I can do effect trigger, which might actually be something I might grab because it actually um, increases the nano effect state of whatever I have on my shotgun. So I'm actually going to grab that. This is the third polarity. Are you sure we want it? Yes. Okay. So once I pick that up, that's the third polarity I think I just bought. Let me just double check real quick if I keep scrolling down. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to keep scrolling back down. There's a reload, and then, yeah. Okay, so it was that one. The one underneath that one I just bought. So we're going to go back up here, and we're going to look for the second one. A fall off damage. I don't know what that exactly is. There's hip, there's aim. Big whoop. Um, I might pick up fall off damage. Because damage is damage, right? So we're going to pick that up. And the cool thing about this is that it's actually a lot cheaper than buying mods with Synergy. Because, as you can see, they're only 2500 as opposed to 6000 So... And if you get the ones lower than that, don't lay a thousand. But I mean, if you have the money, I'd recommend. What? What? Oh, that's right. The lower the reload. I got. I got so scared. Okay. I didn't pick it up, but I thought it, it, it confused me entirely. Okay. So basically, this is the third one, I believe. Which one did I just pick up? The mat. Uh, okay. So it's the wait. What? 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 Up. Oh, effect trigger. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. I got so confused there for a second. Okay. So I'm gonna head to scout a scope. Now you want to be careful with the scopes because one scope will actually add a scope. Another one will um just increase the overall um effects of that current scope, whatever. So basically, when you just zoom in, um, instead of just actually having an actual scope. But if you want a scope, I believe you can add one. But um, just be careful when you're looking through that. Because if you don't want one and you actually do add one, uh, you can't get it off without uh, officially destroying the weapon itself. So you're kind of screwed. But um, Okay, so I just put on a third slot. So now we're looking for the fourth one. So I got accuracy and movement accuracy. And I just got accuracy in general. And then I have... That's it. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do accuracy and movement accuracy because why the hell not? So we're going to pick that up, and I hate that it brings you all the way back to the top when you buy something because it completely throws me off. But anyway, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here because I only need the one player already left. So you got melee damage, which isn't really a big thing. And then I got the recoil and the bloom. So we're going to pick that up as well. And as you can see, I only spent 10,000 there instead of um, 2,400, so not too bad. Now I'm going to click on item to modify. I'm going to go, whoops, I did it all fast. You go to salvage matrix, item to modify once again. The FRC scatter gun, you're going to go attach mods, you're going to click on the stock, equip, you're going to click on that, which is fall off damage, you're going to click on that, which is effect trigger, and then you're going to click on that, which is movement. And unfortunately, I'm stupid, because I didn't buy crit. Because <laughs> I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I swear there's crit in here. Hold on. Reload. Effect trigger. I'm going to be so mad if it's under mag. There's no crit? I really thought there was crit. My mistake. There's no crit. There's just melee damage. And recall. Yeah. Okay, so there's no crit. Okay, never mind. I thought there was a crit. Um, besides the point, let's uh, go back to Salvage Matrix. We're going <laughs> to click on FRC Shotgun again. Well, FRC Scatter Gun, I should say. We're going to add the stock, the barrel, the magazine, no, the sights, and the magazine. We're going to click Start Action. Mods have been successfully added. We're going to click on the Scatter Gun. As you can see, I get. The bloom, the recoil, the fall off damage, the effect trigger, the accuracy, and the movement accuracy as well. And of course, once the weapon is mastered, I get the mastered as well. And I also get the crit multiplier because that's already on the weapon and the mag. So basically, um, that is how to mod a weapon that is not with synergy. And this is how to mod a weapon with synergy. Uh, of course, the weapon with synergy will always be more powerful, but it will be hell of a lot more expensive. 
but um definitely worth it depending on what the synergy type is as you can see the synergy is assassin so i will get crit bonuses which i'll show off later which is going to be really really nice um and i believe there are some synergy mods that will actually allow you to uh well some synergy effects that will actually allow you to re-trigger your nano your, not your nano your ego ability for like 20 percent or something like that which is really good and some of them actually have an effect that will actually do that as well which will stack onto that which is absolutely amazing amazing Jeez, I cannot talk today. Jesus Christ. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much it with the whole how to mod a synergy weapon and how to mod a non-synergy weapon. Now, I'm going to go visit a uh, little Arcfall over there, and then I'm going to show you guys what these two weapons are all about after they have been successfully modded. Okay, my camera just freaked out. Anyway, I made it to the Arcfall. There's someone else here as well, but that's just fine. Now I'm going to walk over here, and let's see what we are up against. These are, okay, these are the actual guys, not the skitterlings. So we're going to shoot this thing off. Uh, looks like it's still doing the same amount of damage. Uh, I'm not surprised by that, because of uh, the fact that um, I didn't actually get a chance to edit damage mod, because there was none. That's the problem when, um, okay, I'm shooting an invisible hitbox. Which is really confusing me. Um, yeah, it looks like about the same amount of damage overall with the uh, the shotgun per se, just because of the fact that I didn't uh, get to add a damage mod because uh, of the fact that for non-synergy weapons they don't actually have one. So, which kind of kind of sucks. I mean, you can buy. I've got to mention you can buy a synergy weapon, a synergy mod per se, and then you can. Um, like a synergy mod with the crit benefit, but uh, it will cost a lot more. And on top of that, you uh, you will only get the crit. You won't get the uh, the synergy effects as well. Which, in my opinion, it's not really worth it because um, of the fact that you, unless the weapon has synergy, of course, then it's worth buying a synergy mod. But um, it's not worth buying a synergy mod for a weapon that doesn't have synergy, just due to the fact that. Um, uh, it's a lot more expensive. As you can see, I dropped down to 31,000 in the bottom corner. I was at 65,000 before I modded these two weapons. So it's very, very expensive modding a weapon with synergy. But um, I think it definitely pays off. But um, as for the shotgun, it is faster reload. The bloom, it, like uh, the accuracy, is better with it. Overall, it has its benefits, and on top of that, the weapon's not even fully mastered yet, so when it gets mastered, I'll get another stat from that as well, including with some XP and etc. But um, enough about the non-synergized weapon, let's talk a little bit about the synergized rifle I just modded, if I can actually bother to kill something before these three idiots decide to jump all over the guy's butt. So let's hopefully we can get something. Anything to be great. Okay. All right. So they're spawning one, one at a time, which is, which is, of course, lo very, very lovely. Um. Okay. Okay. There's a guy over there. I might be able to get him. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. Um. Well, let's pick up some ammo while we're waiting, shall we? Okay. Here we go. So that actually did. 1,038 from 915. Originally, the crit was actually 915 from the beginning. I don't know why no one's spawning. It's really irritating me. Okay, there we go. So, 930... Mm, still 448 per shot. Sometimes 934, uh, depending on where you're shooting. But headshots, it looks like crit actually bumped up to... From 915 to nine, uh, 1,038. So, uh... Yeah. You can definitely see that it did. And on top of that, if I keep, like, if I chain it up, I can actually get, um, like, if I go from one kill to the next, the, the crit would actually be, I th believe it would be higher, depending on the, the synergy type. I think that's how the synergy assassin works. I'm not too sure. I haven't actually looked into the stat. But, yep, you can definitely see the damage actually increased along with the crit on the synergy weapon. As for the, the FRC scattergun, it didn't incre uh, increase very well. It just uh, kind of just uh, 
it went up in like uh, efficiency wise it increased in efficiency but not as well as damage just because it didn't have the uh, the uh, the synergy with it I did not put synergy mods on so I didn't get any damage or crit mods so to speak but with the FRC rifle I did and you can definitely see it is making a pretty pretty significant difference for a weapon that's not even mastered so not too bad, not too shabby. Definitely something uh, if worth checking out if you guys do definitely want to um, be modding your weapons and whatnot. Um, it's up to you on whether you want to mod them before you master them. I prefer modding them after just because then I get all the stats. But you can also, you can do whatever you like. I mean, I like modding them after because just in case I don't like the weapon, I end up uh, spending all that money on a weapon that's modded. I mean, you can remove the mods, but that would destroy the gun. Or you can, um, uh, you can remove the mods and keep the gun, or you can, I believe, remove a mod and destroy the gun. So that is up to you and what you want to do. But overall, if um, you really, really want to change mods around or whatnot, and you really do want crit or something of the sorts on the weapon, but it doesn't have synergy, go ahead and replace one of the mods. You don't even have to remove it. You can just replace it, and it will actually benefit you more in the... Uh, benefit you more than actually having it removed because once you have it removed you have to wait like three minutes and you end up using like three 200 scrap or whatever which isn't really worth it in my opinion just replace the damn mod because when you remove it you lose it anyway so unless you want to remove everything because uh, you forgot what was on that or you want to start over or you did it wrong etc etc then I recommend removing all the mods but um, nonetheless um, if the weapon isn't on it just add the polarity slot mask the thing out and then go ahead and um, mod that sucker up and then basically see how well it does. As you can see, I got 12, 1,200 on that crit. So it definitely does increase depending on the number of enemies that you kill. If you go from one kill to the next, it will definitely increase the crit. And like I see, like I, like I said, Jesus Christ, English, man. Not my language, that. The damage did not increase, increase on the F FRC scattergun, but it did increase, however, in efficiency. The reload is a lot faster, the accuracy is a lot better, and plus on top of that, uh, it is definitely lighting them on fire a lot easier than it was before because of the effect trigger that I have attached onto this thing. Which is helpful, which is definitely helpful because that will... Um, Overall, just increase the damage output just by having the nano effect trigger more. Which is kind of nice. I like the nano effects. You don't have to go for a nano effect, but um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I like them more on a burst fire weapon on a single shot, but it's up to you. The preference on how you play the game and how you build um, your, uh, your ego grid, etc. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I don't really think there's much more to it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something in this video. My name is Chaotic Angle. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Kind of helps me out. And I hope to see you guys real soon. Later.